Hi, I'm Eric Wong. I'm from Synopsys, and I'm here with... My name is Jit Lim, and I'm with Keysight. I'm responsible for USB compliance testing. And we had the privilege of actually testing and compliance certifying this particular product at the workshop two weeks ago. Uh, yes, thanks, Jim. Thanks for inviting me to Keysight. Uh, we're going to talk about our where we recertified our USB 3.1 controller and PHY. This time our PHY is our, our 16 FinFET version. Uh, testing the 10 gigabit per second transmit and receive is that right that's correct great great so let's let's talk a little bit about the synopsis hardware synopsis hardware setup uh, includes our USB 3.1 prototyping kit uh, so on the top of the prototyping kit we have our test chip for 16 FinFET and on the bottom the FPGA with the controller installed and we connect this up to the Keysight analyzer Two things. One is the uh, the eye diagrams look very good, which is this is the uh, what do you call the uh, the the uh, far end eye diagram, and this is what they call the uh, the near end eye diagram. And so in both cases, we want to make sure they have a nice clean eye. And what we are looking for, which in this case uh, worked well, is that you had a a pass, which you see right over here. But more than that, though. We, we want to make sure that your product actually doesn't just pass. We want to make sure there's a lot of margin. So the column that's actually most impressive about this particular product is this column that says margin over here. If you look at the numbers, they're all in the high 20, 30, 40 percentages. This is a really good sign. This means that when your customers use your product in their designs, they can get a lot more margin, which means they have better yields, better time to market, less source of returns. So this column over here for margins is actually very impressive for this product. Not just passing, but passing with considerable margin. If you see over here, this is what I call a JTOL plot. It shows that your product passed all these points. And this was the data that was sent to the uh, USB IF to get you guys compliance. So once again, this bottom black line is the, uh, the, the uh, compliance test spec you need to pass it to get certification. But uh, as a test and measurement company, that's not good enough for us. We need to know when your product would fail. And so this other plot over here actually shows the margin your product has, which is what we call beyond compliance. And so we want to know what margin you have. And if you look over here, this product also has very excellent uh, JTOL margin, which is the, the distance between the compliance margin and this plot over here. Yeah, we love to see a good passing result, which this do, does have, but um, the great news is it's got a lot of margin, and it ranks up there among the best USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gig products we have tested, and we have tested a lot of these products. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. Today. Of course. It's our pleasure.